Hey guys, Red Dot Shooters here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the 50 yard zero. So if you've just mounted an optic on your AR-15, the obvious next step is to get it sighted in. Now the thing is, you've got a few options to choose from. There are a lot of guys that like 100 yards, you've got some that like 25, and then there are others that like 50 or 200 yards because those two zeros are pretty close to being the same. Personally, I'm a big fan of 50 yards because it's flat shooting and versatile at several distances. And in this video, I wanna show you some of the actual results I got from shooting at the range. So if you're ready, here's what I found out. All right, so this is one of my targets from the range this past weekend. I was shooting this rifle, my Colt LE6920, great AR-15, make sure you check out my review of this rifle. And this optic, the Holosun HS503C, currently my favorite red dot, link below if you're interested. Now this is the ammunition I was shooting. It's just wolf gold, but I like it because it's cheap and it's brass cased. I hate steel cased ammunition, but we'll get into that in another video sometime. Anyway, so these are my groups at 50 yards. This was my first group, and this was my point of aim right here. Now just a little aiming tip for anyone who's a beginner, aim for a small area on your target if you can. For example, don't aim at the big orange diamond, aim at one of the corners of it, which you can see is what I was trying to do. So like I said, this was my first group and I was aiming here, so my impact was about two inches high. So I adjusted my sight a little bit and this was my second group. Again, point of aim down here, still about two inches high, so I didn't adjust it enough. So I cranked my optic down even more, but I went too far because this is my third group and it's about an inch low. So I adjusted one more time and on my fourth group, I finally got it dialed in. And another thing I'll mention is I was trying to count my groups, but I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. So you can see this one is four shots, that one's five. This one might be five shots, might be four, not sure. And this one was five. Now once I got it dialed in at 50, I put a target out at 100 yards to see where my rifle was hitting, and here's what I got. My point of aim was right in the center of the diamond, and you could see I was hitting about three inches, maybe three and a half inches high. Not too far off, a little bit higher than what some people say a 50 yard zero hits at 100, some say one or two inches high. And by the way, great group from the Colt with wolf gold, a red dot, and a mil spec trigger. Now I do wanna point out that if my target was small, like six inches, I would have to hold a little bit low at 100 yards. But overall, not too far off my actual point of aim, and if I was shooting a 10 inch steel plate in the desert, I should be able to consistently hit my target. Okay, so I also wanted to see where the rifle was hitting at 25 yards. So here are the results there. This five shot group was hitting about an inch low at 25 yards. This three shot group about an inch low and this one about an inch and a half. So it's pretty clear that at 25 yards, a 50 yard zero hits about an inch, inch and a half low. And to me, that means you can aim right on at 25 yards and still make pretty accurate hits. So to sum it all up, we were right on at 50 yards, about three inches high at 100, and about an inch low at 25. So I'm pretty happy with these results because I can basically aim directly at my target and still make solid hits at these distances. Now guys, to really dial in your optic, you need to make sure your shooting fundamentals are strong. So if you need help improving your accuracy, check out my free guide that shows you how to improve your shooting without leaving your home or spending a dime. It's a very simple exercise and I use it myself to continue my own improvement. So to get that, just go below in the description and hit the link or type into your browser red.shooters.com backslash trigger. Again, the exercise is 100% free and it did help me improve, so it might help you too. Thanks for watching and as always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more shooting tips and gear reviews.